it's actually a great opportunity, I think, for students, especially international students who are looking for a job after graduation, to stick up with thesis, maybe. Practical training is that I have applied mm. the jobs that I have applied and the thesis positions that I have applied that makes like hundreds, hundreds of applications. Yes. So I actually talked to this uh, colleague of mine from Yamk, uh, who was already uh, working uh, at Valtra. And then he actually uh, recommended me to one manager in, in at Valtra in the purchasing. Uh, I actually want to re-record my introduction. Hello guys, welcome to the new episode of Talent Boost Podcast. It's again me, Diljara, and today we are going to talk about our logis- logistics alumni's career story, who studied in Yamk and now is working in Valtra. Please welcome, Mihail. Yes, thank you. Uh, happy to be here and sharing a little bit of my story in Finland. Yes, uh, my friends and colleagues usually call me Mike around here because they usually have some struggle with my name, but in, in any case. Uh, a little bit about me, yes. Yeah, so I am originally from Brazil, from Rio, and I came to Finland uh, to finish my bachelor's in international logistics in 2017. And I finished uh, my bachelor's in 2020 and I continued in Finland because I got a job in Finland. So I've been living here almost for six years now. And so far, so good. Enjoying some things, not enjoying other things. <laughs> so Plus summer is starting. So Yeah, summer, one exciting. of the best things in Finland for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, first of all, hello again, <laughs> and I'm really glad that you are here with us today. And I would love to ask maybe, um, first of all, how and why did you come to Finland? Mm-hmm. What was the purpose and how did your adaptation process go? So, yeah, as I said uh, before, I came to Finland actually to finish my bachelor's because I was already doing my engineering bachelor's back in Rio. So I was studying um, production engineering. And I actually, I usually say that Finland chose me because I wasn't like looking into into coming to Finland. Mm. Because uh, very short, uh, my my sister actually, she saw one um, advertisement saying that uh, yeah, come to Finland and study for free. And then we, 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 we started to search for it. And then we found out that the entrance exam is actually done every year in, in, in America, in Chicago and, and Sao Paulo. I did that. I did the, 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 pub, well, the contest and then I passed. And yeah, I came to Finland in 2017 then. So Finland chose me. But then to come here, it was actually a really big uh, adventure because I didn't know anything about the country itself. I only knew that the capital was Helsinki and that's pretty much <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. And that is super cold around here. And then, yeah, it's that the culture is super different. The language is, is super different. So I didn't know where I was going to. And yeah, a little bit about the adaptation that was quite tough. At the beginning, the, the culture is quite different if, if, if I compare to the Brazilian country, culture and uh, the language and the weather and all of those topics. But I, I it slowly getting the, mm. the, the uh, adapted. So Okay. And how did your studies in Yam go? Did you like it? Did it meet your expectations? Yeah, so I can tell you that the how my studies were in Brazil and how they went in Finland, they, it's like completely different uh, way at the, um, so far in, 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 in Brazil, for instance, we have a lot of uh, uh, exams and, and, you know, the theoretical topics and so on in Finland, at, at least in the applied, science, applied science, sciences, <laughs> uh, those are like more, you know, focused on the 
practical topics and so on. So a lot of projects, a lot, a lot of work assignments and, and so on. Some visits as well into the factories. I actually visited Valtra in my mm. first or second year. So, yeah. Did you like it when you were visiting Valtra? Yeah, yeah, it was really nice to actually see, you know, happening what we actually study on the cla in, in the classroom. It's always like eye-opening eye mm. and listening, you know, from the people who actually work there, what actually happens. So, mm -hmm. and we think that maybe everything is perfect in the theory. We are going to do that. We are going to do this. But in the reality, it's usually more complex. So Okay. Interesting. Since we're smoothly going to this next part or discussion about your working in Valtra, uh, can you tell me how did you manage to work in Valtra? How did it start? And what challenges did you face in job seeking in Finland as international as an international person? Yeah, so uh, in, in in a summary oh big big one. S as as soon as I started living in Finland, I was trying to look you now for some part time part time jobs in Uvascular. Mm -hmm. And then that was quite hard actually because uh, every job that I I found and I applied, they requested the, the, the Finnish language so and I didn't have and I still don't have. So it's it's something that uh, it 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 really like you it, at the beginning really like struggle with that. And related to that, related to the practical trainings as well. So many I applied quite many for the practical training uh, positions and many of them uh, requested the Finnish language. So that is, uh, it, it, I'm not completely sure how things are like at the moment, but when I was applying, though, that was a struggle. And how I ended up like getting the job here, for of course, to finish my bachelor's, you need to do your thesis. And I had uh, my net, well, small, but still my network uh, from Yamk, from the studies, my colleagues from the uh, from Yamk, some people that I got to know from outside, and of course I was trying to do my thesis in a um, as a case uh, as a case study, mm -hmm. and then I found, uh, and then I, I mean I was talking to my my network, trying to find if someone knows about something and so on and uh, i actually talked to this uh, colleague of mine from yamk uh, who was already uh, working uh, at valtra and then he actually uh, recommended me to one manager in in at valtra in the purchasing department and since then then started the process of like me getting in touch with them they reply me we got the first meeting uh, there at the factory Mm. and they uh, uh, presented to me what was the, the issue, the topic, and then I, at the same time, I was already, like, giving my uh, initial thoughts, mm. how I would handle those, and they really enjoyed, and we moved forward with that. And then during that period, I finished... Sorry. I started my thesis February 20. 20 and I finished my thesis like May 2020 so around three months mm, that, that that's really fast <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was actually the when the corona came so oh, okay. and I really entered like some sort of monk mode you know like really at home studying studying and doing mm. the thesis and really focusing on that and um, yeah so and then I delivered my my thesis uh, the, the manager really like enjoyed what I did and then I graduated in June 2020. And then at the, that that moment, there was there wasn't any kind of position in the team from purchasing. And then one month uh, later, actually one position uh, appeared in the supply chain team. And uh, yeah, and then I applied to that. And my previous su supervisor of the thesis, he actually he recommended me for that position and then yeah then i got the position and then i've been working that there since then i'm really glad that you brought that up that you actually managed to meet new people 
who helped you in mm-hmm. the future to find this job and you also did thesis with your company at Valtra because I remember that when I was writing thesis that that thought didn't even go through my mind that oh I maybe can just uh, ask some local companies to write my thesis with and it's actually a great opportunity, I think, for students, especially international students who are looking for a job after graduation, to stick up with thesis, maybe. Because this is one of the opportunities that not, I think, really mentioned a lot when we're studying. Mm-hmm. And it's it's really nice to see that there is one <laughs> case, as, as you, that was, I think, really successful in in this mm-hmm. words if we can say so um yeah two things if i may one uh really i have always done like really my best in everything that i have uh been putting myself into so this is did that was actually what in my opinion one of the key things for me that mm-hmm. actually brought where i am now so really like showing my my, my capacity and what i'm capable of as soon as I got one, I mean, I'm not saying that it's easy to get the opportunity, but as soon as you get the opportunity, like you should show what you're capable of. So really giving your best and, and, and sometimes there is no fit and that there is no problem in that, but you did your best. So for sure, you are going to get you no know, a background mm-hmm. and experience out of that. Second thing, neck, neck to working, I wouldn't be able to, uh, to 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 get where I am now, if I didn't have you know like the contacts and the people that actually know, it wasn't ma- it wasn't many at that moment, but still, I I, I was always interested you know, in getting to know new people and mm. so on. So really be uh, interested in that. So mm-hmm. was it your first choice to write your thesis with Valtra, or did you try with others before? No, I mean, I, I wasn't applying to only one place. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you're a student, of course, you, you don't have like a, how can I say that? You try to get, you know, as many possibilities as possible mm-hmm. on your hand. So like you are shooting, shooting, shooting to every corner, to every place. And f- fortunately for me, they yeah, they, yeah. they they wanted uh, me and so on. So maybe unfortunately for the other companies that didn't, you know, so, but yeah. For 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 that, yeah, I, in my opinion, it, you you cannot like just focus on one. At yeah. When you don't have any actual option, you really need to put effort in opening, mm-hmm. you know, the the possibilities that you may have. Yeah, when we're talking about numbers, because some people ask like, how to how many companies did you apply? Mm. We're not talking about like five or twenty. <laughs> we're talking <laughs> even more. Because it's a lot and it's it's for sure difficult. And mm-hmm. I'm really happy to hear your story that you were fortunate and you were hardworking and you are hardworking, uh, I'm pretty sure, mm. in Valtra. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like if I count, uh, if I count, I don't know the number for sure, but I have an idea of points if I count all the practical trainings that I have applied, mm. the jobs that I have applied, and the thesis positions that I have applied, that makes like hundreds hundreds of applications. Yes. So, quite many. Yeah, uh, guys, if you <laughs> are feeling that you can't find it and you have applied to a lot of positions, don't give up. Because as you heard, people are applying for over than 100 applications. And it's just a question of time. I'm pretty sure you will get there. Yeah, um, and I think my one last question would be: What is your favorite thing about Finland when we're talking about in general, like Finnish culture, whether it's just uh, life culture or working culture? What, what what do you like the most? Well, one topic regarding work life is um, the 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 informality in a way that you know you can actually go there to talk to your head of uh, operations without any problems so mm. maybe in con- in countries that have like a really like a structured way of uh, the the 
hierarchy yeah. is actually like a really like solid and strong. If you knock the door of the head of oper operations, he or she is going to be like, what mm -hmm. what are doing here? But for instance, I can go to my director there like whenever I want and then go, hey, have a chat, you know, talk about some yeah. topic and so on. So this is really nice and really good in my opinion. And regarding Finland itself, well, for sure, one of the best things the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's, as, as, as I said before, like, it's a really, like, big uh, difference from Brazilian weather and the Finnish weather. But when the summer is here, it's almost like my winter in Rio. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one thing that I really, like, got to, to, to appreciate quite much is the sauna. The mm. sauna culture in Finland, I really love that. And uh, maybe the third thing is like the nature that is like everywhere in Finland. So yeah, one thing at th that actually lacks in Finland is mountains. Mountains is something mm. that you only have in hills, but still it's full of green. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I think I totally agree with you with everything you mentioned, because these are the most things that I like about Finland as well. Um, and I'm I'm really happy that winter is over and spring I don't feel like there there is mm. spring in Finland. There is like winter and mm -hmm. summer, and that's all. It's tough, but for sure, f I, I, when when I used to study in Yamk, for instance, they I'm sure that they still provide the service. You know, like during the dark months yeah. and winter, if you're feeling lonely, if you have like some really like deep thoughts, yeah, about that, like you have people that can actually help you and support you during that during those times. Mm. besides your friends and your colleagues so they do have professionals that can help you so okay sorry um there is one more <laughs> question that appeared no in my mind uh, you mentioned that you are working um with on a position that is mostly requiring english and mm -hmm. i want to ask do you think that logistics in general is like international program in Yamk mm -hmm. where you can maybe possibly as an international student again find plenty of English speaking positions in, in Finland mm. or was it just one of the rare things that happened to you fortunately in your opinion mm, I would say that uh, yeah I mean for me uh, a, li a little bit about more me so I started as a Material planner at, at Valtra and I am currently leading the team. So I'm the material planning manager there mm -hmm. at Valtra. And uh, regarding, so supply chain slash log logistics, if it is a big company, for sure, this field will be in English because suppliers are uh, from all over the world, from all the big companies, you know, like the, and the international language is English. So it's my opinion much easier to find mm -hmm. possibilities from big companies from companies that you know that have a, a big supplier base and so on uh for positions that only re require english but if you're taking into account um companies that are maybe like small medium size that maybe do not have too much uh neck neck to work around the world then it might be a bit more difficult in my mm. opinion to find that you it only requires english so most likely it's the same maybe if you're in, in germany you have a small company from 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 germany most likely they require german in finland a small company they will require finnish so it's much easier in my opinion if, if you go to the big company but you can still find like for instance maybe some st startups Mm -hmm. In Finland, like um, some startups, I have heard that they don't require the Finnish. They are really open for like international people to add value to them. So, okay, yeah. Thank you for your tip about startups. I think this is really useful for students. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's all. Thank you for coming today and telling us your story. I think it will be inspiring and motivational for many people looking for a job in Finland and maybe also for incoming students or 
students who are deciding whether to apply to mm. Finland, to Yamk or no. Um, guys, this is logistics program. And you see the person who is working in Finland and pretty successful with that. Yeah, um, that's all. So yeah, thank you thank for you. receiving me and really like happy to share a little bit about my story in Finland. And then also like I hope that I can inspire, inspire or like get some motivation on going on you know, for the students that are currently studying in Finland and the ones that are thinking of applying. Mm. It's uh, I recommend coming to 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 the program and then if you get adapted to Finland, I recommend you to keep pushing forward. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you.